Hey guys, it's Christy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a video on how I set up my NG tube feed. I usually use a backpack whether I'm in the house or whether I'm going to be out and about. So today I thought I would show you how I set up my feed and how I set up my backpack. So each time I do an NG tube video, I do get asked why I use an NG tube and I use it because I have Crohn's disease. I do go into it in more depth in some of my other videos, so I will have them linked down below. In terms of what you're going to need to set up your NG tube feed, you'll need a syringe. I get all my supplies from Abbott. Also some pH strips, your given set. So that is all the tubes that you will need to help your feed flow into your NG tube. You'll also need a pump, and I use the Frigo pump given to me by Abbott, so it is just that one there. You'll also need your feed. I use the Vital 1.5 calorie um, feed. It is 1.5 calories per mil, and I like this one just because it doesn't really have a strong taste. It doesn't sort of regurgitate on you. I found whenever I was using the Elemental 028 for my NG tube feed, I was using a orange flavored one, and it used to kind of come up and like I would taste it in my mouth all the time. So I really like this one. Uh, this is a liter bottle. And then I also have my Frigo backpack. So the backpack just has a little pouch here. It is just literally for storage. There's a little hook there as well. And then it has a zip down here, which just gives you a window into the pack and lets you into the actual pump, which we'll put in there later. And then inside you have your feed goes here. It has a little hook there to hook your feed up to. It has straps to hold it in place. And then you have all the straps here to keep your pump in place. It has a clear strap to, so you can actually still see the pump and see sort of what it's doing. And that is what this little window lets you see into. It lets you see into your pump. So I really do like this backpack. Um, it has been an absolute lifesaver. It's helped me to get out and about with my ND tube more and not feel like I'm lugging around, you know, a stand or anything like that. I literally just set up my new background today. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, please give me some feedback down below in the comments, but there's lots of fluff sort of flying around everywhere. So if you see little speckles on the screen, it's just because I've literally just put this up and it's been disturbed and so there's fluff everywhere. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check that the tube is still in your stomach. Even if you've had the tube in for, you know, a week, two weeks, eight weeks, you have to check every day before you put your feet on that is still in your stomach. And that is because say yesterday I had a vomiting episode and my tube seemed to stay down and I thought everything was fine. What might've actually happened is my tube came up slightly and then actually went back down into my lung. Or I could have been changing my dressing yesterday and taken off my old dressing. And whilst I was getting my other one ready, my tube might have come out a little bit. I just fed it back down thinking, oh, it's only come out a little bit, but actually it's gone into my lung. So the last thing I want to do is just attach my feed every day and just start feeding. And actually the liquid is going into my lung and I could actually technically drown. So you always want to check every single day that your tube is in the right place in your stomach. And there are a couple of ways to do this. You can either use your syringe and get a little bit of air into it, push the air into your tube and use a stethoscope to hear whether there's a gurgle in your stomach. Or the way I do it is to take some aspirate out of my tube and pH test it to make sure I'm aspirating stomach contents. So I will just show you how I do that now. Basically, I just get my syringe and pull it back a little bit, get a little bit of stomach contents and just close over my tube there. I then pH test it on my pH strips. I just use these ones here. They're by a company called, I think Merck Serrano. It is just, and then just put a little bit of the stomach contents onto the pH strip. It only needs a little bit. So this is what it looked like before. And then this is what it looks like after. And then I just use the color chart on here just to tell me what pH it is. So I think this one is probably about 1.5 there, which means it's definitely in my stomach. I think if it's, I mean, it kind of depends. It depends on who you ask. I think if it's about a three or lower, um, you're good, good to go and you know it's in your stomach. Now we can go ahead and actually set up the feed. I'm just going to open my given set just here. So the feed goes on to this end, then it flows all the way down to here, which goes inside the pump. And then it flows all the way down. You have lots of room here right the way down to the end here. So this is the bit that goes on your actual NG tube. 
The pack also comes with some adapters, um, just because I think they're switching the NG tubes over and in the meantime, to make them compatible with the given sets, they have to have these little adapters. So there are three different adapters in this. This one, this one, and then this one here. This is the one that I use. And I just go ahead and stick it on the end of the given set here, so it just screws on. And that makes it compatible then with my NG tube. So it then goes on perfectly and fits nicely. But I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm not gonna attach it yet. I'm just gonna open up my feed now. And it comes with a little protector on it. Just this here. I always check the best before date before I use these. The last thing I wanna do is give myself something that's off, especially if you have quite a backlog of these. I just always give it a little mix up first. And then the there is something on this that pierces the foil. So I just go ahead and screw it on directly. And I always make sure I screw it on this way rather than screwing it on this way because it will literally just go everywhere. So you wanna screw it on this way and then flip it over. So now we're just gonna attach it to the pump. I just open up the side here and here is where I want to set everything up. You can see there's a diagram here which shows you exactly where everything goes. So if you match up everything, um, you'll be good to go. So I just put the loop over pull down on this little lip here so just pull that down and then clip it in it'll clip in just here and then that is pretty much it just close that over and now what I want to do is prime my tube so I want to get all the tube filled with feed and then connect it up to my ND tube I don't want to start the feed straight away because it will then put loads of air into my body, which will be quite uncomfortable. So I want to prime it first of all. So I'm just gonna turn it from off to set here. So set dose. So. And then here, this actually is meant, is meant to look like a little teardrop. I'm just gonna hit that there and hold it in. And then it says priming. So it's actually going to push the feed around the tube until it gets to the end and then it will know to stop. So you can see there it has just stopped just before the end of the tube. So before I attach it up I want to get my backpack all ready. So here it is, I just want to attach this here to the little hook in here. So there we go there. So I've just strapped that in there. It's kind of hard to show because I need two hands to strap it in. Now I have three straps on there. I have one, two, three there. So that'll hold it in place and stop it sort of, if I'm moving around, it won't sort of flail around too much. It does move a tiny bit, but it's a lot better than just it being free to move as I'm walking around. Then I'm just going to put my pump into this section here. All I did there was I inserted my pump in here Pulled my little window across and then there is just a little st uh, strap just in here that you pull up and strap that in there. So now I'm able to see the pump um, but also adjust any of these dials here if I need to and I can also see all of that through my little window here once I have my backpack all zipped up. You can then feed the tube through this little hole here in the back but I tend to feed it through the front so I'll just show you that now. So I have just fed the tube through this little window here. And what I then do is I just zip this up. So it's just zipped up there and it means that the tube just hangs out the side here. And then if anything happens with the pump, it starts to beep or anything or has an error. I literally just go in here and can see what the error is on the screen. And then I can also just amend the dials and my tube just sort of hangs freely out of here. So I've just taken the pump out here just so I can show you more freely what sort of dosage I set. So I'm going to set it to uh, 1000 mils because that's what I have in my actual feed. So there we are there. I have now set my dose to 1000 mils. And then I'm going to set my rate. So I tend to go for 90 mils per hour. So it means it'll run for just over 11 hours. And then literally I'm just then going to connect it up to my actual NG tube. So just take the cap off the end here, connect up your feed, and then I will just set my pump to run. So we'll just give me a couple of beeps there. 
So that is it, it is going to run for the next 11 hours and it will give me lots of nutrition and make me loads better. I hope you find this video helpful um, if you're maybe going to be getting an NG tube or you've literally just got one and you're not too sure how to set up your feed. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with any questions you have. Also subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and hit the little notification bell to receive a notification every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!